So we're here at the Art Hand. This is um, our studio, my wife Miranda and I. Um, and I'm Sean Corkin and I'm a sand artist. So I just wanted to give you kind of a little snapshot of my day as I pull down here onto the R675, the Coast Road here in Kilmurran. My main studio uh, is Kilmurran Cove these days, drawing giant pictures with a garden rake. During the last year or two, uh, I've literally, most days I'm down in Kilmurran Cove working on uh, some kind of project or other. And then the other half of my day, I spend back at the, uh, the built studio, the one with the roof on it, kind of uh, editing footage and preparing for the next day. You might hear the rattling around in the back of my van of all my tools, my rakes and brushes and shovels and plows. And uh, in fact, between me and you, between you and I and the, the camera, we have this uh, big contraption, which is, I'm afraid, taking up half the front of the van, which is, uh, which is my giraffe, which is basically a, uh, a, a large um, homemade tripod. So we're here now at Kilmurran Cove and uh, the tide is in, so we can't do any sand art, but we're just gonna give you a quick little snapshot, even from the van here, of the beautiful idyllic spot. So I had a workshop yesterday, we were doing, um, we were doing, we were working on a TV program actually yesterday, so uh, so I still have some of my stuff. I, I, I gather wild bamboos, I have all kinds of different contraptions in there, including um, a painter's pole that goes 30 foot in the sky, which is my uh, latest uh, purchase. But more exciting than that uh, is this contraption, which is my giraffe. I call it giraffe. It's giraffe number four. It's a prototype. Uh, it's all folded up into four sections. It's got three legs and a head and a neck and a tail. Uh, and it extends to, it's a giant tripod basically, and it, it extends to 25 feet so I can take a time lapse of the sand art being created. Oh, and down here as well, I have a plow. It's a hand uh, drawn plow that I've designed. It's weighted here, so it actually cuts a groove when I need to drain a beach. But I suppose most importantly, uh, the most important tools are this, my, uh, my sentimental stick, um, quite attached to this little one piece of wild bamboo, uh, and a rake. So a, basically a garden rake. Um, it's a leaf rake. And uh, I draw pictures, uh, giant pictures, massive pictures on beaches around Ireland and, uh, and back before, back in the olden days in the UK and even as far as Texas, I've worked in Texas at festivals. So um, that's kind of the back of the back. Oh, and most importantly, tea. Don't go nowhere without tea. So we're back here now at the Art Hand studio. And as I was saying, I've spent 10 years making sand art uh, on beaches. And I suppose now it's a transition point in my career where I'm expanding into kind of different ways of representing my sand art. I'm still continuing to do sand art. But for example, I'm collaborating collaborating at the moment with electronic music artists through a project called Supersonic Sand, where Rebecca Cappuccini and I are trying to bring together electronic music artists from all around the world and trying to create high speed time lapses and music videos and potentially a documentary of the work. So it's kind of like it's the next step for me after 10 years of kind of representing my work in more of a kind of a spiritual way would be kind of seen as uh, the sand art is normally represented with with kind of a ethereal music and that kind of thing. So I'm trying to bring it up a notch and trying to get uh, electronic music and sand art to sit together. Bit of a challenge, but let's see how it goes. Tune in, supersonic sand. All right, let's go and visit the uh, Art Hand Studio. Uh, she, I'll show you where I spend the other half of my day. So we're here at the uh, Artan studio now and um, uh, we're in transition of turning the uh, studio space into a kind of a gallery sl slash studio. We were kind of an art school up to now, uh, but this is kind of where I spend the other half of my day at a computer. I sell uh, large sand art prints of my sand art. Uh, people sometimes wonder how does he make a living going to the beach every day. So yeah, so on our website, theartan.com, You'll see my wife Miranda sells her art as well, her paintings, but I sell uh, prints of the work and I take commissions. Uh, like I recently did a piece with uh, Fulcher Ireland, uh, I've worked with Amnesty International, I've worked with um, different companies and branding sometimes as well with things that resonate with me. Uh, charities and campaigns and that kind of thing, birthday surprises, uh, wedding proposals, that kind of thing. So that's kind of a snapshot of my day. So thanks very much for coming to visit the Art Hand and me.